Rafa, what kind of ice cream is that? It's um, it's like guayaba. It's really good. Okay. They call it something different here, though. Maracuya, what do I say? Right here we have a cevicheria spot. Um, it's very famous because, as you might know, Anthony Bourdain actually ate here many years ago. Um, as you can look around me, it's very popular. A lot of tourists here. The wait was roughly an hour, but luckily we are super chill with the, the waitress and she let us jump the line. So I'm excited for the ceviche. I can't wait. That's on the ceviche, Rafa. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Um, one of the best I've had ever. No way. I really like the lemony taste. Um, yeah, but gotta try it. Woo! Too bad. So good. Hey, what you got there, Brian? Oh, this whole thing? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> platter. The seafood platter. Alright, here we go. Beautiful morning here in Cartagena, Colombia. I'm here with my boy Brian and Rafa, who's right up ahead of me. And we're on our way to get some lunch right now. So we'll see what we find. Stay tuned. Coming right at you. Sangria. So I believe if you're gonna do seafood, you might as well knock it out here in Cartagena, which is the beach town, because you're gonna get the freshest fish from the sea. Um, and then once we go more inland to Medellin or Bogota, that's when you're gonna get your chicken, your meat dishes. Yeah. So very smart choice for getting that. Dang. What'd you get, Rafa? I got what it's called, to be honest. <laughs> Good. Yeah, you guys can feel free to take a bite of mine. Okay, thank you. Uh, we've got some calamari, some shrimp. We got fish in there. It's kind of hard to see because we're under this like red tent here in the uh, barrio del centro, and uh, just outside, getting some nice lunch. All the possible street food that we can take in tonight here and get the get some money district. We're starting up here at Chamo's Burger. Brian has just ordered the super hot dog, so he's gonna be trying that out. And then I'm gonna head over because I'm craving an arepa, so we're gonna head over there next. But Brian will tune you into what he thinks about his hot dog. Brian. So right here is your Colombian hot dog. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. You got sausage, you got onion, you got corn, you got cheese, you even got cabbage. Alright, put that all together and this is the result right here. Bam. Alright. Oh, damn, bro. Look at that. It's good? Bro, it looks good, man. Look at all that. Oh my god. So cheesy. Look at all that grease. <laughs> it's good, man. Yeah. Alright, bro. Alright. Let's go 
go get my uh, my turn. If there's one thing I like about street food, it's getting to eat street food with Senor Foodie. So what I have here is an arepa, very famous here in Colombia. It has cheese, chicken, uh, beef, really good. Okay, so let me take a bite. Oh, wait, first I need my salsa. Take a bite. Here we go. Really good. It's my favorite. Bring it in. So what's in there? We got cheese. We got chicken. We got beef. Simple, but it gets the job done. Really good. Very good. You gotta try it, bro. It's a recording. You gotta try it. What do you think? Wow. Senor Foodie approved? I don't know what's up. <laughs> I don't know, I can't pick one. They're both just as good. The street food here, amazing. I'm gonna take one more bite if you don't mind. Go for it, dude. Hmm? How's that? So over here we have chicken and potatoes. Wow. Wow. That's right, yeah. Pretty simple. What's some street food without a nice cold beer? Hey. So what happened to the street food, man? Tell us. Explain why we had to put a... I'm gonna tell you why. We had an epic fail right now. We were two for two from the beginning. We had the hot dog, we had the repa. Awesome. For the third part that we came across, they were selling like empanadas, I believe. And it sounded good because it contained chicken and potatoes. And I was like, yo, we gotta do that, Eric. And next thing you know, we try it, and it was probably the most disgusting thing I ever tasted. It smelled really funky, it smelled like feet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, it's very bad. And I don't wanna show my face to the vendor, because I made like a really sour taste, like a facial expression, I should say. And I didn't want to be offensive, you know, so I kind of like walked away and threw away the food. It was just bad. Terrible, terrible. And now we're here. We're here at the Mente. This is a um, tapas style of food. So it's a small plate all around. And this burger here, we have the oxtail burger. This is what the restaurant is known for. This burger alone. Yes, it's tiny, but the flavor is by far the greatest thing I've ever tasted compared to any other burger that I had in my life. I'm talking about in and out I'm talking about Five Guys, <laughs> any burger joint you can think of, this place right here, number one. This is our second time in a row coming to this restaurant just for the burger. That's how good it is. I usually don't go to a restaurant like twice in a week. That's just unheard of for me. But this place, the Mente, it has that power. And I love it. <laughs> Explain everything. I don't know. Other comments. <laughs>